Good morning, my friends. I start out with a question for you today. Who can separate you from the love of Christ? Obviously, the answer is nobody. Nobody can separate us from the love of God that comes to us through Jesus Christ. That is the only thing I have to say to you today that is worth anything. We've got to get this into our heads and deep, deep, deeply rooted in our hearts because it is the source of our confidence. It is the source of our perseverance in hard times. It is the source of resilience and determination because it is at the root of how we feel when it comes to hope in life. You see, if we don't believe we are loved, if we don't believe that God loves us, but rather that he's upset with us, he's a little perturbed all the time, we live our lives in this place of unsettledness. We live in a place of of fear and apprehension and doubt and uncertainty. But God has told us here in the scriptures, Romans chapter 8, that the love of Christ is something we can never, ever, ever be separated from. Because what Jesus did in dying on the cross to pay the penalty for our sin and then rising from the grave to overcome the penalty of sin was enough for us. It was enough to bring us securely into his love. In fact, he did all of those things because of his love for us. And so let's read the passage just slowly and in an extended kind of a way to let it sink in. I encourage you, stop for a moment, whatever you're doing. If you're driving and you can pull over, stop and pull over. Let's close our eyes. Let's take a deep breath. Let's let ourselves be ready to absorb the truth that God's about to tell us. Because this is a truth that can really revolutionize the way that we live in this world, the way that we feel, the way that we react when our emotions don't align with God's truth. Now, here it is. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, For your sake, we are being killed all the day long. We're regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Just let that settle on your soul for a moment. The Apostle Paul is telling us in very clear terms that we are forever secure in the love of God. Forever. He went through the gamut of possible dangers. And as if he didn't say enough, he summarizes his list of potential threats by saying, not anything else in all creation can separate us, is able to separate us from the love of God that is ours in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You see, Jesus is it. He is the person, the power in the universe who holds everything securely. He's like the all-purpose indestructible glue that keeps us at the Father's side that does not let us go. There's a popular song, Oh No, You Never Let Go, through the storm and through the flood. I don't remember the words real well, but you get the point. Oh no, God never lets us go. My friends, rest secure in that today. And join me tomorrow as we talk about this more on The Morning Mindset.